Hello, welcome to Ekidel. My name is Justice Mwaka. I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning structural detailing. So today's lecture will be a complete structural detailing of a concrete building. Okay, as you all know, if you are a good follower of Ekidel or you are a good subscriber of Ekidel, you will know that over time, we have been doing um, performing structural design using a software called Prota Structure. And all this why for the past few months, we have been performing a structural design and we have not done any structural detailing. So in my last video, which I also dropped the link to that video, right here on the comment section or on the description, we did a video on how to export structural detailing from Porta Structure down to AutoCAD. Now, when you come to AutoCAD right now, you have to perform the full structural detailing because Porta Structure will only give you some parts of detailing and most of the most of the structure, um, total structural detailing is not always perfect. So you, as a structural engineer, you're meant to now detail all the structural members to the preferred um, kind of detailing that you want. So today, we will be performing structural detailing. Okay, so right now, the first thing you will do right now, once you open your AutoCAD, is to locate the file, which is the file that you exported from Porta Structure. So right now, I'll click on this place called Open. Meanwhile, I am using AutoCAD 2023 version. And as you can see, it right here, it is fully registered. Okay, so right now, you click on Open. And then, a dialog box is going to appear just now. Now, on this dialog box right now, Next thing we'll do right now is to locate the file. The file is always on document and inside document, it is located inside Prota structure file or folder. So right now, I'll go right now and click on this document and then locate my Prota structure folder, which in my own case, this is it. So now this is the exported file that we exported from Prota detail down to AutoCAD. But right now we want to now begin to detail it to our preferred pattern or style of detailing. So I will click on this one, on this, I, on this file right now, and then click on open. Now I'll click on yes, continue opening. Now, once it opens right now, it's almost coming up. You will see now, okay, now it has opened. This is the exported Prota detail um drawings that we exported from Porta detail down to autocad and right now we have opened it in autocad as you can see right here this is a part foundation and if you want to know if you want to see the video of the full design of this detail i would say you should check the, the link down below the, this description you will see the video on how to design this structure now looking at this right now once you open up or once you export your drawing file from Porta Structure down to AutoCAD, this is how it, is, it will look like. Where you will see your first floor or your story one beam and column layout, your foundation layout if it is a part foundation, and then your roof or your second story beam and column layout. Now, in this case, this is a two-story building. As you can see it here, we have story one and we have story two floor layout. And then this is just the roof beam, the um, beam and column layout. Now, under it right now, so we also have the beam details for story one. You can see right now, this is this one beam simply means story one. So we have the beam detail which have been given to us by Prota Structure through Prota Detail. And also, we also have our bending schedule, as you can see it right here. And also, we also have the story two beam detail, which is for this story two layout, as you can see it here, story two. 
and also we have the beam details and also the roof beam or the story tree as you can see it here and also this is the story tree beam and column layout now also we also have the foundation um, part detailing or foundation footing detailing of this is the footing layout foundation layout as you can see it right here so the product structure has also given us the foundation footing detail now also we also have our column schedule as you can see it right now in my last video i explained to you guys why i didn't export the column section detail from portal structure because it is not always nice and it doesn't look good so i don't like um bringing it bringing out the structural detail of that column i want to use a manual hand detailing to detail the column perfectly here in autocad and then also i didn't also export the slab because portal structure is not always good in slab detailing it doesn't really look nice so i used to use manual hand detailing to do that so by the end of this lecture you will be able to detail perfectly a full structural drawing for any kind of concrete building so right now this is your exported file from portal structure down to autocad now right now we want to begin our full structural detailing and we will start with the first floor layout we are we will have to number this beam if you can see right now you can see that put us structure have already numbered the beam for us but i don't like using i, I don't like using this putter beam numbering because most times it is not always um good so i like to number my beam myself of which you will see what how we are going to do that right now and this is a full standard way of structural detailing so i'll be using directly the global standard detailing for the for this structural detailing so i will say that you should pay attention although it might look boring because you know that we this is this is called structural detailing but if you follow up it will look interesting and you will learn more and more and you thank me for this video so before we start if you have not yet subscribed to my channel ekidel i will say that you should just click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my video which i'll be doing consistently in most um structural design and also other parts of engineering designs okay so right now let's get started looking at this now this is the exported file from portal structure now we want to now begin our structural detailing now before we start there is an automated template you know this is like an autocad environment so there is an automated autocad environment which was developed by a company called stonebridge in uk so this company was developed by by a, this template was developed by a company in uk the template which i'm going to show you right now was developed by a company in uk which of which it makes your structural detailing very easy so right now i will go and open the stonebridge structural detailing so right now i click on open the reason why i'm opening this right now is to make this is to make this structural detailing very simple and if you have this template with you believe me your portal structural detailing becomes very simple as simple as that so right now when i click on this open just here now this dialog box will appear which i will now go to document now on this place right now this i saved this the stone bridge structural templates in desktop now you can see right here this is stonebridge company detail templates so if i open this folder right now on opening this folder you will see a file inside here so this is called stonebridge company structural detailing templates so if i click on this right now and click on open what happens is that you will see a sample of other 
structural detailing in there which also consists of how you can arrange your structural detailing after detailing but the beauty but the beauty of this the beauty of this template is that as you can see right here first you see other type of detailing of showing you as an example you can see this column right here showing you an example of what how you can detail your structural drawing perfectly now the beauty of and you can see also see their templates just here you can see template right here stonebridge company you can see right now also their address uk okay so right now the beauty of this template listing very attentively the beauty of this template is that once you copy this exported Prota structure detailing. Once you copy this all this file into this template, automatically you don't have any other work to do. You just have to arrange them inside your sheet or your template that you want to start printing, and that is all. But before this time, if you don't have this template, if you don't have this template, you have a lot of work to do because you have to start changing as you can see right now this is this is a reinforcement layer and if you print this right now if you print directly this without making any changes all this layer will be very dark that even your viewer or your reader will not be able to understand or to see what element or member is that but if you copy this file right now into this template you will see the magic of what will happen. So just pay attention right now while we copy this drawing, this exported drawing from Prota Structure. So if we copy this right now, right click and say, right click and then go to copy, as you can see right now. In most recent times, I'll be using shortcut, but for now, let me just pass through this procedure. So I click on copy right now. Now, automatically, I have copied all this drawing just here. So I now open the tab, this Stonebridge company detailing template. Now, once I open it right now, before I paste, or I'll just paste, I'll, not, I'll just right click and then go to clipboard and then click on paste. Now, once I paste this here, automatically, all this, this template will just present for me a perfect detail which will fit for printing and which will be good for printing now i have just pasted this right now now let's just hold on for the template to um do do its magic now if you look at this right now you can see what happened just now this is the previous one that came from portal structure as you can see take a look at this right now and this is the one that this template has just done if you also look at the foundation layout right now you can see foundation layout and also if you click on this place go to foundation layout you see the look of how this was you can see the look here but if you look at this right now you can see the look here so this and also if you see these layers they we are automatically changed but if you look at this before, this was how it looks like. Now, if you print this directly without any editing or without these templates, your, 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 your output of your printout will not be, will not be visible because this, this exported file from Potter Structure was not set. The, the software only did its detailing for you. So right now, we will now go back to the templates now let me also copy again for you this template again to show you the magic of what this temp this stone bridge company template can do so if you copy again this exported file from Porta structure let me repeat this one more time copy this file right now and then go to stone bridge company detailing template and just click on this right now if i click on this to open this tab right now and then let me just form a rectangle to paste this new one inside this rectangle. If I click on this, then click on Control V, and then just to paste this inside here. Let me wait for the hair. 
So if I click on to paste this right now inside here, now you see the magic just now, it is very perfect. You see that every features which gives you a global standard method of detailing is already stored in this Stonebridge company templates. Okay, so let's just go back. Okay, so with this template, you are good to go. You can see everything is being made. But before, this was how it looks like when it came from portal structure, which is not always, which doesn't look good after printing. But with this right now, or you can see your lapping, everything has been placed and, and visible. And also you can see your text and your axis, everything is good. Now, by the end of everything, this is what you are going to have. So by the end of this lecture, you can also see that we there is also a template on the paper space. You can see it here. On the back sheet, there is also a template for the stone bridge, which all you need to do is to change, is to remove this logo, delete it, and put in your own logo. But for now, we will be using this logo. And also, all you need to do is to change this project name, you can change this project name to the one you want, which we will begin that just now. Okay, so we go back to model view right now to begin our full structural detailing. So once you paste this inside here, so let me remove, let me just delete one of these because it is now like a, like a duplicate. So right now, once you see this right now, the first thing we want to do right now is to begin the detailing of our beams and also to, to present this beam layout how it will look after we are we are done printing okay so right now first of all let me explain this template for you this template i'll put this template right there i'll put a link to this template right there on my description which you will directly download it from the Stonebridge company itself. Okay, when I, I started using this, this template as of 2017, when it was a free version, but in 2020, after COVID-19, the company went, um, had some issues because of the pandemic, and they now began to sell their software, their templates, and, and also their software. Now, this, temp this template, as at last year, it was just $10. But later this year, they decreased the price to just $5. So the price of this template is $5. So I'll drop the link to that, to that, to the, the link where you can get this template, just right down on the description. If you want, you can get this template. Or if you want, if you want also, you can also begin to use this just directly here and then begin to do your, um, your strategy directly from this exported file. But I would say, if you get this, you will flow with me a lot because I have been using these templates for a very long time and it makes your work very easy. As you can see the result at the end of everything, this is the kind of results you are going to get. As you can see it right here. This is the kind of result that you are going to get, and also you can see your um, temp, your your footing base perfectly arranged, and also your beam details perfectly arranged, and also you also see your column perfectly done. So right now, let's get started on the full detailing since I've already explained to you what this template is all about. So let's get started for the full detailing right now. Okay, so let's continue.